What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video. And before the video starts, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 8K, but anyway, let's get right into the video. So for this Shaq build, you do wanna go center. Then for the pie chart, you wanna scroll down a little bit until you find the red and blue pie chart, which has primary finishing and defense. For the physical pie chart, you do wanna go with the second one here. As you can see, it has high strength, and high vertical. Now for the attributes for finishing, you do wanna put everything all the way up. As you can see, I didn't put close shot up yet, but after the post hook, I am gonna put the close shot up so I can get as many finishing badges as possible. As you can see, this build does have 26 finishing badges and you do wanna put the close shot down by one just so you have an extra attribute point and you can stick with 26 finishing badges. Now for the playmaking, you do wanna put up the pass accuracy and post moves. You can also lower the pass accuracy by one so you can stick with 10 playmaking badges and have an extra attribute point. For the defense, you wanna match out the interior defense the block both rebounds offensive and defensive and just like that we have 14 extra attribute points with these extra attribute points i think you're best off putting it towards steel just so you can get 22 extra defensive badges or if you are planning on playing pro-am on this build or rec you do want to put your free throw up because this build can't shoot but it is crucial to hit free throws so what i did i put some towards steel and i lowered it until i still stuck with 22 defensive badges then I put some towards ball handle just so I can get 11 playmaking badges instead of 10. And then with the one extra attribute point, I put it towards pass accuracy just so when I do get rebounds on this build, I'm not just chucking the ball out of bounds. When it comes to Shaq's body type, I went with Burley. You can also go with Built. Built is pretty much Burley, but a little bit more muscular. But honestly, I think Burley looks the best, so I went with that one. For the height, Shaq was 7 foot 1, and honestly, if you are going to make a taller center in NBA 2K21, I think 7 1 is the best height. And now for the weight, you actually don't want to max it because if you put it down, as you can see on the left, you do get one to your perimeter defense and lateral quickness. Then if you do put it down again, you do get more to your driving dunk. And if you end up putting it down from 288 to 287, as you can see, the speed does go up by one. So instead of 290, you do want to go with 287 on this build. For the wingspan, this build can't shoot anyway. And in order to play better defense, I suggest maxing the wingspan. Honestly, with builds that can't shoot, you should just always max the wingspan if they can't shoot or can't dribble because they do get more to their dunk, they get more to their defense. And I know this doesn't show up on the actual attributes, but even if your stats weren't to go up, it would still be easier to get blocks. Now for the takeover, honestly, you can't go wrong choosing either of these, but I went with rim protector takeover because I feel like with rim takeover and lock takeover, it's really easy to stop people and it's one of the most overpowered takeovers. So this build is called a paint beast and let's get right into the badges. For the finishing badges, you do want to go with back down punisher hall of fame. That's like a must for Shaq. Then you want to go contact finisher hall of fame, drop stepper hall of fame, lob city finisher hall of fame, put back boss hall of fame, relentless finisher hall of fame. And with the last two badges, I would go either pro touch and deep hooks or consistent finisher and deep hooks. Or you could just use Pro Touch and Consistent Finisher just if you're not the best at releasing layups. Consistent Finisher helps a pretty good amount. So I would use Deep Hooks and Pro Touch, but if you're not the best at timing layups, take one of those badges off, probably Pro Touch, and put Consistent Finisher on. Going into the shooting badges, surprisingly, even though this build can't shoot, there are a few badges that can help this build out a lot. So Clutch Shooter is pretty good on builds that can't shoot. And on this build, when you're picking out shooting badges, you want to think about post hooks. So Clutch Shooter can help you hit late game post hooks. Deadeye can help you hit semi-contested post hooks. Flexible release can help if you're not the best at timing your post hook release. Green Machine is also really good. If you have your release down, you can green a lot more post hooks. Hot Zone Hunter is pretty good to have. I think that's the best one. If you do have hot zones, you can definitely hit your hooks from those hot zones. And then Volume Shooter and Tireless Shooter, they're decent, but I think the other shooting badges will help you more. So now going into the playmaking badges, I think Bailout is good to have on any build that you make. Break starter is pretty good, especially if you get the rebound and you just want to chuck it down the court. And then for the gold badges, you should put post spin technician, quick first step, and unpluckable. So post spin technician helps you in the post a lot. Quick first step, you don't need it gold, but I would put it at least bronze on this build because it's good gold, but because you're slower, it's not as effective as on a guard. And then unpluckable helps you not get ripped. So if you do want to put quick first step on bronze, you should probably put needle threader on bronze and then break starter on silver. That's probably the best way to go. But if I were to make this build, I would just take off Needle Threader and I would put Quick First Step Gold. Finally, let's get right into the defensive badges. So on this build, you're going to want Box Hall of Fame, Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame, Rim Protector, either Gold or Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame for sure, 
Brick Wall Hall of Fame if you do set screens. Personally, I don't, but I know that badge is very good on this build. And then you want to put on Pogo Stick, at least silver. This badge is really good to have Hall of Fame, but just put it at least silver. And then for the bronze badges, you either want to put Post Move Lockdown, which helps you against Post Spins, or Worm, which helps you if you do get boxed out. It helps you get a higher chance of getting the rebound. And you don't have to put those badges on. If you don't, you could put Rim Protector Hall of Fame, or you could lower some of your badges to put Pogo Stick Hall of Fame. And then you can run with this badge setup here, or if your guard ISOs, you can just totally take off Brick Wall, and then you have a few extra badges to use. So that's going to be it for the video. If this video helped you guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.